Angry protests have broken out in Kyrgyzstan after a woman was abducted and killed in a case of bride kidnapping. The illegal abduction of women for marriage is thought to be widespread in the country. Here's a summary of the article. Angry protests have broken out in Kyrgyzstan after a woman was abducted and killed in a case of bride kidnapping. The young woman's kidnapper and suspected murderer was also found dead. Police said he died from knife wounds, which were thought to have been self-inflicted. Many believe bride kidnapping is an ancient Kyrgyz tradition, but some researchers argue it became popular in the Central Asian country only a few decades ago. UN figures suggest one in five marriages in Kyrgyzstan happens after a woman has been kidnapped. For many, especially those from poor families, bride kidnapping is the cheapest and quickest way. The incident should be the last bride kidnapping in history, he said. In 2018, a 20-year-old medical student, Barulai Terdali Kaisi, was stabbed to death at a police station, as she prepared to file a statement against her kidnapper. This post received a score of 29,000, with an upvote ratio of 96%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. They kidnap her and then the man who wants to marry her rapes her often while his friends hold her. Because no one will marry her now, the parents usually agree to the marriage afterwards. This is the reason why most terrible of guys sometimes kidnap the most beautiful girls who are 17 or 18, or daughters of rich parents. Part of culture. These people need to go to jail. Wow. Where do you live? Hell, this shit was legal in Italy until 1981. Brew what? This, however, does not amount to the categorical legality of kidnapping a woman and forcing her to marry. Franca Viola's kidnapper was sentenced to 11 years. Greater than Franca Viola, born the 9th of January 1948, is an Italian woman who became famous in the 1960s in Italy for refusing a rehabilitating marriage to her rapist after being kidnapped, held hostage for more than a week, and raped numerous times. She is considered to be the first Italian woman who had been raped to publicly refuse to marry her rapist. Instead, she and her family successfully pursued prosecution of the rapist. Real Stories on YouTube has a documentary about this bride stealing. The girls are crying and fighting to get away and the groom, his family and friends are cheering like it's a happy occasion. Greater than Real Stories on YouTube has a documentary about this bride stealing. Do you have a name or link? I'd love to watch it. Bride Kidnapping in Kyrgyzstan. I'd recommend watching the above Vice documentary if you want to learn more about how disturbing and insane this practice is. You can see a kidnapping actually happen around the 12-minute mark. Man, the host adds another layer to the whole thing. Why do you say that? It was kinda weird for me how he was so chill about it all. I don't see him as chill, but rather awkward. For example, when he wishes them good luck before the kidnapping. It's like, dude, they are literally going to kidnap a woman. And I know it has something to do with being neutral as a journalist and whatnot, but still. I watched a documentary about this a while back, and seemed pretty common in anything other than a large city. What is crazier still is that when it works, girls basically develop super Stockholm syndrome, and generally when it doesn't, they end up dead. You know you are socially required to marry, have kids and do all of that. The only respectable solution that resolves the conflict is that you must then marry your rapist. He is literally the only person willing to marry you. It may well be that affection does build in that situation where you have a house and kids and aren't dead. Now some woman pull a fuck you I'm a just not marry anyways or are not very polite towards their attacker. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.